Hello, welcome to Jumamega Virtual Learning. This is one of the GCSE exam questions that student did yesterday. In the question, we are supposed to find the area of the shaded portion. That's the green portion. And we know AB is equal to BC. And it's equal to force C. And A, B, C are the centers of each of the circles. A, B, C is also a straight line. And we're supposed to give our answer in terms of pi. First, A, B, B, D, and A, D are the radii. So that makes this triangle equilateral. All the angles 60, so this corner is 60. Similarly, B, C, C, E, and BE are radar as well, making this equal to a triangle. Therefore, this corner is 60 degrees. And because ABC is a straight line, then this must also be 60 because angles on a straight line equals 180. And knowing this angle as 60, we can now confirm this line has to be 4 C because this is also equal to a triangle. So all we need to do now is to focus on the sector D, B, E, sector D, B, E. If we focus on the sector D, B, E, we will be able to figure out how to work out the shaded portion. If you look at this carefully, you realize that the shaded portion is nothing except a sector minus two of these segments. To get the area of the shaded portion, you need to work out the area of a full sector and work out the area of these two segments. And when you take away the two segments from the sector, you have the shaded portion, as you can see with the animation. So we're going to set up, set out to work out these uh, shapes. One thing you need to remember is that these two sectors and even the sect, uh, sorry, these two segments. And the segment at the top are congruent. They are the same. So once you work out one segment, we can multiply it by two to represent these two segments. So we're going to only work out the top segment and we'll double it to represent these two blue segments as you see here. So don't get confused. The area of a sector is given by theta over 360 times pi r squared. Our radius is 4. Our theta is 60 degrees. So we work this out. 60 over 360 is 1 sixth. And 1 sixth of 16 is 8 over 3. So this simplifies as 8 pi over 3. Remember, this is non calculator paper. You are not allowed to use a calculator. So leave your answer in an exact form. 8 pi over 3 is the answer for our sector. Now let's work out the area of a triangle because to work out a segment, we need area of a triangle. An area of a triangle, DBE is giving us A times B times sine C all over 2 using the sine properties. Our C is angle 60. Our A and B are 4 and 4. That's the radii. So when, this work, when you work this out, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 over 2 times sine 60. Sine 60 is given to us as root 3 over 2. You need to remember your exact sine uh, trigonometry values. So sine 60 is root 3 over 2. When you work this out, you simplify it as 4 root 3. So the triangle is 4 root 3. Now we can now proceed to work out the segment. The segment, which is the blue part, is equal to a full sector minus the triangle. And our sector is 8 pi over 3. So we have the segment is equal to 8 pi over 3 minus the triangle 4 root 3, which is the same as 8 pi minus 12 root 3 over 3. These two are the same values. Now that we work out just one segment, remember we said the area of the green portion is a full segment minus 2 or twice the values of one segment. And one segment is this, therefore we need to double it. And we'll have double the segment will equal 16 pi minus 24 root 3 over 3. 
So to finally get our answer, we know that the shaded portion is not equal to a full sector, which is 8 pi over 3, minus the two segments, which we had as 16 pi minus 24 root 3 over 3. And when you work this out, you end up having 24 root 3 over 3 minus 8 pi over 3. You need to know how to do your fractions properly. This is only the top part of the shape that we're supposed to work out. Remember, what we work out is only this top part. So to get a full answer, all we need to do is to double our answer. And when you double this answer and you work it out properly, you're going to get 48 root 3 minus 16 pi over 3. Or 16 root 3 minus 16 pi over 3. They are all the same. So that is the my uh, exposition to the question that student did yesterday. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends. And subscribe if you are new to this channel. Thank you very much.